Good morning, students. Today we are going to take up a very interesting and important lesson, and that is the atmosphere. Now, the atmosphere is a gaseous envelope that completely surrounds the Earth. It is an integral part of the Earth, just like the hydrosphere and the lithosphere. The atmosphere is generally a very thin layer and it is being pulled due to the gravitational pull of the earth. The atmosphere contains a number of gas, dust and vapor. It extends for about 1600 kilometers from the earth's surface. However, about 99% of the total mass of the atmosphere is found about 100 kilometers from the surface. Now, why do you think the atmosphere is very important? Now, the Earth, we all know, is a very unique planet of the solar system, mainly due to the presence of the atmosphere. The Earth has got oxygen in abundance, which supports life. If the earth would not have had oxygen, then it would have been a lifeless planet, just like many other planets of the solar system. The presence of carbon dioxide also supports the plant life because it helps the earth to remain warm. If all the carbon dioxide is removed, then the earth would be 33% colder than what it is today. So it is very important to have not only oxygen, but also carbon dioxide. Apart from these two important gases, the atmosphere filters the harmful ultraviolet rays and the infrared rays. It acts as a blanket for the earth by preventing terrestrial radiation and keeping the earth warm during the night. The atmosphere helps in maintaining the temperature. Apart from that, millions of meteors keep on striking the earth but they are not being allowed due to the cushion of the atmosphere. Other planets or satellites, even our own satellite, the moon, due to lack of atmosphere, it is constantly being bombarded by meteors. That is why the surface of the moon is highly uneven with large number of craters. But it is not so with the earth because of the presence of the atmosphere. So here we can see how this meteor which is likely to strike the earth is destroyed by the atmosphere. Besides all this, the temperature difference between the or within the atmosphere generates air circulation. So we have winds, rain, lightning and all other weather phenomena. The lower layers of the atmosphere provides suitable conditions for water cycle, heat cycle, etc. And all these are very, very necessary for the existence of life. Let us now learn about the composition of the atmosphere. Now you can well see in this pie chart that 
the atmosphere of the earth has 78% nitrogen and about 20% oxygen carbon dioxide and other gases are very less to the tune of about 0.03%. There are several inert gases, mainly argon, hydrogen, helium, methane, and they constitute about 0.97%. Water vapor constitute about 1% of the atmosphere. So all these are very important for a proper existence of life on the earth. Let us now understand the importance of all components of the atmosphere. Now we all know that oxygen helps in combustion and it is very necessary for respiration. Nitrogen being 78% is very very essential because it slows down the process of oxidation. If nitrogen would not have been there or it would have been somewhat less then everything around us would be in fire. If you would have snapped your fingers, then also your fingers would have caught fire. The rustling of leaves would have caught fire. So nitrogen nullifies the process of oxidation or it reduces to a great extent the, the oxidation process. Apart from that, Nitrogen plays a very important role in manufacturing of fertilizers, nitric acid and ammonia. Carbon dioxide is also significantly important because it helps in photosynthesis. It absorbs the terrestrial radiation and keeps the lower layers of the atmosphere warm. I repeat that if the carbon dioxide is removed, then the earth would become 33 times colder than what it is today. Water vapor is the source of condensation and precipitation. It helps in absorbing heat radiated by the earth and keeps the lower layers warm. Particulate matter which are found floating in the atmosphere also play a very significant role. Dust, smoke, salt, grain, pollen grains scatter the solar radiation during sunrise and sunset. So the orange hue which you see during the sunrise and sunset is mainly because of the presence of all these particulate matter which helps in scattering the light. Not only this, they serve as a condensation nuclei and absorb terrestrial radiation thereby keeping the lower layers of the atmosphere warm during the night. So today we have learnt about the importance of the atmosphere and also the composition of the atmosphere. It was an introductory topic and the module where I have just introduced you to the importance of atmosphere. So that is what we have enough time for today. Thank you.